Have you ever seen those YouTubers who create games in a day, a week, or even over a hundred days? That's impressive, right? That's really impressive. Whoa. But let's be honest. Who has the time for that? Well, not me. That's why I'm gonna show you an easy process of building a Flappy Bird clone using ChatGPT and free tools. You might be wondering, who am I to create games considering I don't know how to code? Well, with the help of ChatGPT, I'm gonna prove that anyone can do it. So don't miss out on this opportunity to learn how to create your own game without coding. Are you ready to see how I made this game in under 10 minutes? Let's get started and ask ChatGPT whether it can help us build Flappy Bird using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Wow, look at that. It gives us the code for the game. Let's copy the code and paste it in Microsoft WordPad. Then we save it as text and as HTML. Let's try it out and jump with the space key. You can see that ChatGPT made a simple game for us, but we're missing some things. It doesn't look very appealing, does it? Don't worry, we can spice it up. We will ask ChatGPT to add more features in the game to make it look nicer and work better. First of all, we need to know when the game begins or stops. So let's improve the game and give ChatGPT some guidelines. The game should begin when we click once and stop, if the bird hits the pipes or crosses certain boundaries. And when the game stops, we should have a message that says game over on the screen and a button to try again. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to add all these features to the game. Next, let's replace the old code with this one. Just copy and paste it in the same WordPad document again. As you can see, the game doesn't start automatically. We need to tap the screen to begin. If the bird hits any of those pipes, you'll see a game over notification. Now, if we click the retry button, the game will start over, but we're not done yet. Let's ramp things up. Let's make it visually stunning. To do that, I'll provide image URLs of a bird, a pipe, and a background. Then we'll add a score counter that increments every time we successfully cross a pipe. Additionally, I'll ask ChatGPT to enhance the background with a stylish gradient effect. ChatGPT guides us on how to proceed step by step. First, we need to find the images we will use for our game. You can search for them on the web and download them to your computer. If you want to create your own unique bird, you can use CapCut to help create one. I will put the prompt to the bird in the description. See how cute these birds are? Let's download this yellow one. Next, I will use ClipDrop to erase the feet and remove the background. After that, we will use a free online tool called Post Images. Just upload the images and you'll get the image links. Then we copy and paste them to ChatGPT and specify which link corresponds to which image. Now ChatGPT provides us with an updated code with the image links. So let's quickly copy and paste them into our WordPad and click Save. Let's check it out. Wow, I have to say it's jaw dropping, but I want the game to look even better. Let me quickly generate a new image of our bird. We'll go to CapCut and upload our yellow bird to use as a reference image. This time we want it to be pink to create better contrast with the background. This one looks unique with the hearts. We will erase its feet and remove the background. Let's get the image links and ask ChatGPT to update the code. Incredible. The pink bird looks absolutely adorable. I'll also make some minor changes to the game, such as improving the scoreboard and displaying the score on the game over screen. So let me just make the final tweaks and see how it goes. That's it, guys. This is the final game output. Can you beat my score? Isn't that amazing? We started with no coding knowledge and ChatGPT helped us with every step to recreate Flappy Bird. The results are mind blowing. We just learned how awesome ChatGPT is for making games, even if you're a noob like me. So now you can make your own games with ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.